we're here at the Commodity Classic in Houston, Texas. Today we're here with Dr. Ross Bender. I farm myself and I find agriculture to be a bit of an emotional sport. When somebody loves agriculture and loves farming, it's just in their blood. What does advanced crop nutrition mean to you? How would you define it? Advanced crop nutrition is really simple. Best in class mineral sources with best in class biological tools. Together, that marriage is advanced crop nutrition. It is the buzz in agriculture. I'm Sherry Cook. I am a 30-year veteran in the egg industry, and we're going to help you learn more about your farming operations and crop nutrition. Ross, we're glad that you're here with us today. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and about your background. My name is Ross Bender. I lead our new product development team at Mosaic. I went to school and focused on crop nutrition and crop sciences. So the focus of my time at Mosaic is helping farmers identify the technologies that can perform best on their farm. And now more recently, helping bring new technologies to the market. So what made you decide to go into agronomy? For the love of the land, I find agriculture to be a bit of a, an emotional sport. I love what we do. My, my family came over from Germany about 170 years ago, and we've been farming just a little bit ever since. When somebody loves agriculture and loves farming, it's just in their blood. And this is my way to sort of give back to the farming community and continue to, to farm in our area. Absolutely. Well, that's wonderful. We're going to really hone in on what this show is all about, and that's advanced crop nutrition. What does advanced crop nutrition mean to you? How would you define it? Advanced crop nutrition is pretty simple. It's bringing together best-in-class mineral granular crop nutrition tools with best-in-class biological tools. Together, that marriage is advanced crop nutrition. So we have biologicals now with Mosaic, our Mosaic bioscience side of our business. It is the, the buzz uh, in agriculture. What we have identified are different tools to complement a really strong foundation and that's where biological tools come in. They can help improve the efficiency of the mineral nutrition that we apply to our soil. So there's lots to advanced crop nutrition, so the, the science behind it is a big piece too. One of the things that makes us different is our commitment to the science. Strong science is, is the foundation and the backbone of being successful in this space. We have a three-part approach to R&D. We start off in the laboratory, do work in the greenhouse, and bring the leading technologies to the field. Every year we'll do somewhere between 2,000 and 2,300 research trials. For the farmers that represent the United States, we do over 500 trials in the field every single year. That helps us with the confidence that when we know that we're ready to bring something to the market, that grower and that retailer is gonna have strong return on investment, strong agronomic support, strong marketing support. They know it's gonna work. We're all wondering how 2024 is going to progress and where spring is upon us. A question I get lots from growers is, oh, so if we put a biological on, we can cut back on our rates mm. on fertilizer. Can you just deep dive a little more on how they help one another? One of the little models that we like to use at Mosaic is founded on science, focused on success. So we focus heavily upon the science. In our deep amount of field trials that we've done work on, the best experiences that we've had is when you start with a really strong foundation. Microessentials, Aspire, KMAG, and in and of itself, those nutrients are fairly efficient. They're highly available and they perform very well consistently and reliably. But there are ways that we can make them better. So we've developed tools to complement them, to use as part of a more comprehensive system, an advanced crop nutrition system. All right, Ross, we have a little game we're gonna play, so we're gonna test your knowledge on our products. I'm ready for it. Sample number one of the game. That's Aspire, world How do you famous know that? Aspire. This is a potash source that is comes from Esther Hazy, Saskatchewan. And what this product has is some boron in it in every single granule. So it's a really good way to manage your potash, but also deliver season long availability of boron as well. Awesome. Good product. Awesome. You had to check it again, didn't you? No, I made sure it was on the other side. Uh, Micro Central's S10. You got it. Yeah. So what makes S10 different? So we make commodity phosphate products like MAP and DAP, and then we make a value added line of phosphate products called Micro Essentials. And that helps a grower manage phosphate and sulfur all season long. So this is a Micro Essentials S10 product, so it contains 10% sulfur. I saw the label, but I know what yeah. it is. Micro Essentials SZ. Yep. That's right. That's the that's the cousin product to the product we just looked at. This also has the fusion technology in it, which allows us to bring the phosphate, the nitrogen, and the sulfur together. In this case, it also contains 1% zinc. Awesome. 
All right, now we're gonna get deep in the weeds. We got a liquid here. What would you rec What would you say? This is the good old fashioned uh, urea ammonium nitrate liquid UAN, and what it contains in here is BioPath, which is a consortium of best in class uh, produced and stabilized bacillus microbes. The cool thing about this technology is it's liquid, so it can go on with the planter or side dress. And this thing performs really well. This has had a strong uh, performance over the last couple of years. So this is a water base yes. mixed with your liquid fertilizer. Yes. Last one for the day. That's Power Coat. Advantage of Power Coat is that it's an oil-based design for treatment on top of dry granular fertilizer. So any dry granule you spread on your field, you can coat that with the right blend of micronutrients that enhance the availability of those nutrients in season. All right, Ross, as we wrap things up, what's the best advice that you've ever heard? Patience, best advice ever, and it's free. As soon as that first planter comes out of the shed, everybody goes crazy, everybody's excited. They wanna pull it out too. They may not even be planting, but they're ready to go. Do any of your farmers just pull out the planter and tractor just to tease their neighbors to get them uh, all around? Sometimes they do, yeah. sometimes they do. As soon as you see one out, then everybody gets excited. Yeah. What's the best advice you've ever gotten? Patience is one, so I would have to agree with you on that. And the other one would be, be prepared. Have your equipment prepared, have your farm plans prepared, have your fields ready to go, and we're all shooting for a successful 24. Any recommendations on resources for growers? There's a couple of really good ones out there. My favorite is cropnutrition.com and I always end up there. So there's a lot of good content there. True Response is where the great transparency of performance of our products can be found. And then also visit with your local agronomist, your local certified crop advisor, your sales agronomist that helps you build your plants. That's a great place to get started. Well, thank you, Ross, for joining us today at the Commodity Classic 2024. Always a good time when we get to do these great things. Time. The show's fantastic. There's lots of people, a lot of great new advances in technology, biologicals, equipment, artificial intelligence. And we're particularly excited about the progress that broader crop nutrition space has made in the egg industry. Thanks for joining us on Advanced Crop Nutrition. Thanks to Mosaic for sponsoring us. Join us at cropnutrition.com and stay tuned for more episodes and like below. See you next time.